Hi class, uh, we're here today at Bryce Canyon National Park. Um, I came here today, first off because the rocks are pretty neat to look at, as you can see. Uh, Bryce Canyon boasts one of the most unique landscapes on earth. Um, as you can see, there are very vivid colors of red and orange. Um, beyond that, Bryce Canyon has the highest concentration of hoodoos on the planet. If you look out, you can see the numerous pinnacles and spires. Uh, those are hoodoos. So in today's lesson, I want to discuss how weathering and erosion has helped shape these hoodoos to create such a unique landscape here at Bryce Canyon National Park. As I mentioned, the formation of these hoodoos in Bryce Canyon is the result of the sedimentary process. So the sedimentary process is a five-step process. Uh, the first step is weathering, where the rocks are broken down into smaller pieces. The second step is erosion, where those fragments or pieces are then transported or removed from their original location. The third step is deposition, and that's where those pieces come to rest. They accumulate. And then those fragments are compacted through pressure and then cemented together, um, and that's caused by groundwater flowing between the, all the grains that were deposited. Um, here at Bryce Canyon, we can definitely see the processes of weathering and erosion, and that's what's occurring to create this unique landscape. Uh, weathering, the breakdown of rocks, if you look behind me, you can see a bunch of small little fractures. And over time, these fractures will widen up, and that's how the weathering process occurs. Um, there are two different types of weathering. There's physical weathering and chemical weathering. Physical weathering is the actual mechanical breakdown of a rock from larger pieces into smaller fragments. Chemical weathering, that's where a chemical reaction takes place and these rocks are broken down as a, a new material is formed through, the, through a chemical reaction. We can see excellent examples of the weathering process in this rock feature behind me. Uh, this is a narrow ridge of rock called a fin, and this is where hoodoos are born, is through features like this. If you look closely, you can see down at the bottom left, there's this carved out cave feature. And then throughout this fin, there are numerous uh, vertical fractures or cracks. Both of these features are created through the weathering process. Uh, these cracks are most likely created, or at least widened up, through a process called ice wedging. Here at Bryce Canyon, we're at a really high elevation. It's about 8,000 feet in elevation. That means it gets pretty cold at night, cold enough for water to freeze. So during the day when it's warmer, water will infiltrate down through these cracks. At night, this water will freeze. When water freezes, it expands. You've all experienced this when you put your soda in the freezer and forget about it. As it expands, it actually physically breaks the rock apart. It wedges the rock apart and makes these cracks wider. That's an example of physical weathering. This carved out cave feature that we see um, in the bottom left, that was created through a process of chemical weathering called dissolution. Um, you're all familiar with acid rain. Acid rain is formed when water in our atmosphere mixes with carbon dioxide and creates a weak acid called carbonic acid. Well, this acid will then infiltrate down through these cracks and as it does so, it actually breaks down the rock material into small, actually microscopic dissolved ions. And those dissolved ions are carried away um, as the water passes through it. And slowly over time, this will break down the rock and create uh, cave-like features that we see uh, in this fin. All right, so behind me, you'll notice that there's another uh, narrow ridge or fin of rock. And at the top of this fin, you'll notice a number of different spires or hoodoos. This fin happens to host one of the more famous hoodoos in Bryce Canyon called Queen Victoria. You know which one I'm talking about? Okay, hint, it's the one on the far left. You might need to use your imagination, but to some it looks like Queen Victoria. To my students who I have here with me, it looks like Queen Victoria riding a dragon. I'll let you decide. So over time, as the weathering process continues, 
these vertical fractures, they will grow wider and wider as ice wedges them apart or as dissolution removes material along the, the fractures. And as they grow wider and wider apart, that means the spires grow more and more narrow, creating the unique hoodoo features that we have here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some insight into how this beautiful landscape has formed. Uh, just to summarize, these hoodoos are the result of weathering. And this weathering primarily includes chemical weathering with dissolution and physical weathering with ice wedging. And a combination of these two processes has opened up many crack features uh, to create the many hoodoo features that we see present at Bryce Canyon National Park.